Why hello, Chancy. Why hello, and welcome to another episode of First Chances with Chance. And yes, we are back to filming with the couch because you know what? I'm done with my AA and will be graduating in December. Speaking of graduating, that is today's topic. <coughs> <coughs> And yes, it is going to be a good topic because I've got a lot of graduating. Well, I've done a lot of graduating. Like from fifth grade, we had a graduation dance. Like an eighth grade graduation dance. Not eighth grade. A fifth grade graduation dance where my one of my old PE coaches, I remember, came back to um, see us and then... I forget what we did in eighth grade, but I know that there was a, I don't know, I was always, I had honors that year, so I don't remember really what I did. I think that, I don't know if there was a graduation for eighth grade. I think that there was, but I'm not quite sure. I don't remember. But then high school graduation, I graduated with seven chords. I was in multiple extracurriculars. I was in Science Honor Society, National Honor Society, uh, FFEA, which is Florida Future Educators of America. I was in... <sighs> I was in Suck Me. I was in what else was I in? I was in the biotechnology program, so yeah, math and science is my good subjects along with art and writing so was definitely I've always been strong at writing so maybe that's why I'm working on a book but yeah definitely had some fun graduations my graduation in December I'm really excited for because I'm gonna be getting um, paying for myself to have get some new tattoos and finish one that I that I just got well not just got but got before the with the butterflies so it's definitely worth it I've definitely been working hard at my associate's degree been five years that I've been working on it which is perfectly okay not there is no set time that you need that you can take that you need to take like you don't need to take only two years it doesn't matter how long it takes as long as it as long as you put an effort to do it and not just be like oh this isn't for me. like if it's not for you then it's not for you but if you want to let's say you want to be a scientist or a lab tech like I do eventually then you're gonna need to go to school because you can't just work your way up without any school. Like if you're gonna be a pharmacist, that's like counting pills and all of that, then you don't really need a degree, but there are some places that will pay for you to go to a pharmacy school, which I eventually will be doing and then making my way up to hopefully be a lab tech with a company like Johnson & Johnson or even a small company as long as I get paid good. So, I'm going to eat some of my sandwich here. Mmm. So good.
And so, yeah, I'll be graduating in December, walking across... Well, I already have my dipl my associate's degree by then. I'm just waiting for it to come in the... I think they it said that it would be in the mail or through email. I'm not quite sure. But I definitely... won't be uh, able to work in... Lake Worth because I will be going to FAU eventually so, uh, after December so I will be needing unfortunately a new job so I'm trying to find pharmacy jobs that will pay for me to go to school in December or um, reimburse me to go to school in December for pharmacy so Fingers crossed I find one. Um, if not, then I'll end up just transferring to FAU. <sighs> and yeah. But yeah, I'm definitely walking across the stage in December. And more than likely gonna be all dressed up. And nobody can say shit about it. I need another bite. With my high school, yeah, my high school graduation was completely different. I think I was almost late to my graduation. Because <coughs> I thought it was at a later time than it actually was. It was supposed to be at 4, and I thought it was at 7. Or, or I thought it was at 4, but it was earlier than that, I think. So I went, quickly got everything together and we raced over to the where, the place that we were doing the graduation at or I would not have gotten my diploma. Is that what it's called? My high school diploma. Yeah, my high school diploma. Um, but I made it. I was able to walk across the stage. I hugged a couple of my teachers, definitely missed some of them, <coughs> <coughs> and yeah, definitely been a while. I don't know if my school is going to do a 10 year reunion, but they better, because I might be showing off. Simple as that. How has it already been six years? Because I was 18, now I'm 24. So that's six, almost six years. My mistake was going straight into college right after high school. And I worked hard in high school for all of my grades and all my classes. So it's like I was nonstop working. And plus, I also started my YouTube channel at the end of my senior year of high school. So that it was rough on me already. Because I was nonstop go, 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 go. And then I went into college and I was still nonstop go, 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 go. So I literally would um 
was working myself to the point where I ended up having depression, but we will start off where we left off after a quick break. So yeah, I pushed myself to where I was in, where I had depression, and during, I was supposed to take a mental uh, break, like a semester off, that same year that COVID hit. I didn't know that COVID was going to hit. And I, yeah, I was off of school, but after COVID hit, I ended up having to work two jobs. Or I ended up working two jobs because my first job that I had, the, I still had the restaurant. So I applied for Target and they got back with me. They had they put me through. Uh, they had me a, only a day of training. Like what? And then they postponed it. They sent out a message and postponed it. And it was like, sorry, we over uh, were overstaffed and we scheduled too many hours. That's not my fucking problem. You're cutting my training back. And now you want me to learn everything that I'm supposed to all on my own. Like what? Like the next time, uh, like, so I ended up telling Duffy's, yeah, I could come back because they were starting to open that like so I got the job at Target in April and I at like the end of April so the next month they said oh we'll bring you guys back the uh, next month so that following month I was waiting and waiting and waiting and then Duffy's reached out and was like hey Whoever was working before, who wants to come, whoever wants to come back, we are reopening soon. The, the, the. So I told them, yeah, I could come back because I didn't know when Duffy, uh, when Target was going to bring me back. So I said, yeah. And then Target ended up uh, posting the schedule for me and being, and I ended up having to be a card attendant. Like they scheduled me for a card attendant. And I was just like, I don't know how to do this. Nobody ever showed me. So they had to literally pull a team member from off of the, from off of a register to show me, or from grocery to show me how to use the machine one day. And then the next day was somebody from a register. Like what? No wonder why I, y'all pulled me from the, Hard because I sucked. I mean, I didn't suck. I was good at it, but whatever. Um, but I was never properly trained, so you can't uh, expect me to be the best that I can be if I wasn't properly trained by a card attendant. Like y'all cut my training short. So, yeah. I was, I'm surprised that I was there for however long I was there for.
And now we have a, yeah, I was, uh, so that whole entire year of COVID, I was working, well, most of the year I was working for two jobs. And then when I decided to go back to school to finish my A, my associates, I left the restaurant and ended up just working at Target and they worked with my schedule. But it was just like, after a while, they started to become pain in the asses. So, yeah. And now we're here. So I'm gonna go ahead and read some the ups and downs of graduation. Graduation represents the culmination of a journey and the attachment of a goal, or the attainment of a goal. It is an exciting period in a person's life and an array of feelings will surface for the graduate. While most people think of graduation as an exciting and wonderful marking event, many fail to recognize the other emotions evoked by this transition time. Graduation not only can bring up feelings of excitement, pride, and anticipation, but also those of loss, discouragement, and fear. Feelings of loss are commonly felt by students as they face a multitude of changes in their lives. One would not expect to feel sad during the a, ti <coughs> <coughs> a time typically thought as of as a joyful period in one's life. However, as students approach this transition time, they are often leaving behind friends and the familiarity of campus life. It is not surprising then that as students graduate, they often experience intense grief and loss. As graduation day approaches, students are faced with an array of decisions. It is not uncommon for students to not only question their future path, but also to ponder on the past years spent in the university. Sometimes people wonder if they have chosen the right major in a field that best suits their interests. In addition, students grapple with the uncertainty of the future and often ask themselves questions such as, what do I want to do? How to find a job? Where do I want to live? Should I attend graduate school? And how will I be able to start paying off my loans? And thinking over one's past and planning for the future, feelings of discouragement and even despair may surface. Graduation marks the ending of a structured period in one's life. During the past four plus years, students experienced some certainty in their lives. Routines were often established. Example, class schedules, best study hours, study partners, etc. It is not surprising then that as students leave behind the, their, this structured time period, they feel fearful when faced with an ambiguous and uncertain future. In some, graduation can be stress, a stressful period in one's life. Whenever change occurs, even change that is viewed as positive, people typically experience stress. In addition, people in the graduate's life often convey the expectation that the graduate should feel excited and joyful. The graduate often does not receive the message that a whole spectrum of feelings may surface prior to, on, and after graduation. How can one cope with the overwhelming feeling that feelings that are evoked by graduation? First, it is important to expect the, um, that emotions will come up. Not all of these will be feelings of happiness. Second, express your feelings to someone else. <sighs> to a friend, a parent, a sibling, or someone in your life who can hear how you are feeling. Last, remind yourself of your accomplishments and try not to minimize the goals you have reached to yourself. And that was it for the short article. And... If you guys have any graduation stories of your own, don't forget to text or leave a voicemail to 561-320-7085. Again, text or leave a voicemail to 561-320-7085.
DM First Chances with Chance on Instagram. Or if you guys are watching the video portion, just comment down below. Bye, guys. Love you.